Now to that breaking news out of Georgia. The district attorney in Atlanta announcing just moments ago that the officer who shot and killed Rayshard Brooks is now facing 11 charges, including felony murder. Brooks was shot and killed by Officer Garrett Rolfe in the back as he fled the parking lot of a fast food restaurant five days ago. One of Rolfe's fellow officers at the scene, Devin Brosnan, is agreeing to testify against Officer Rolfe in this case. Brosnan now facing three charges, included aggravated assault. ABC's Trevor Alt with more on the breaking details from Atlanta. Today, Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard announcing. Uh, we have decided to issue warrants in this case today. The decision follows days of unrest in Atlanta. The shooting captured on video leading to renewed protests. A pair of officers putting Brooks through a field sobriety test, but when one tries to put him in handcuffs, Brooks resists. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! You're going to get tased! You're going to get tased! Stop! As he struggles, Brooks grabs the taser of one of the officers and as he is running away, appears to reach back and point the taser at Officer Garrett Rolfe. That's when investigators say Rolfe fires three shots. A bunch of different other ways that could have been handled. That was probably the worst possible outcome. In the midst of these heightened tensions, today Senate Republicans introduced their bill proposal for police reform, which would strengthen de-escalation training, ban chokeholds, and make lynching a federal crime. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling the bill inadequate as House Democrats' proposal goes far further in its reforms. Officer Rolfe was fired from the Atlanta Police Department the day after the shooting, a decision criticized by the police union. Black lives, they matter. Brooks' family demanding justice for their loss. The trust that we have with the police force is broken. And the only way to heal some of these wounds is through a conviction and a drastic change with the police department. 